So one thing led to another, and here we are. It was a really quick thing. I mean, this was last spring we were in New York, and now here we are in our own virtual reality experience. It's crazy. Yeah, it's so crazy. it looks like, I'm, how many units do you have here? I see lots of computers, um, we, lots of yeah, TVs. We have seven in all. So we have five what's called room scale stations. Okay. Room scale stations, which is what you see Mike doing here. <clears throat> and then in the back, we actually He's have two um, race car simulators. Oh, race yeah. car simulators. So we have seven in total. Very cool, very cool. All right, so I think we're going to get into a live demonstration okay, in a moment fun. and give you guys a chance to ask Mike over here a little bit about the technology, the computers, and some of the games that they have at a VR experience center just like this. This is definitely the first one I've ever been to, which has been super fun and super cool. I got to get my husband in here. So thank you guys so much. Yeah, well, we're the first one in Chester County, believe it or not. That wow. was a big shock. I was hoping that there were... Um, virtual reality experience centers all over the place. Mm -hmm. So this would, you know, not well, be it's better for you guys. Well, it is better, not, for, us. Because it is better for us. But when they were trying to formulate the plan, mm -hmm. um, they started looking into it. And there really isn't one here, even in Philadelphia. Wow. Um, there is a place to go in Philly, but it's it's they don't have room scale experiences like this. Right. Um, so we have people driving from quite a distance to come here, which right. is kind of exciting for us. I know you guys do, you know, you can purchase space for a certain amount of time and right. you do birthday parties yeah. and whatnot. And you do tournaments, which is super we did. cool. We actually just had our first uh, tournament. There's the, the check. I don't know if anyone can see it, but it's probably on the wall. <laughs> For the prize. Um, so my husband had this idea that we would do um, a Beat Saber tournament. So mm -hmm. Beat Saber is a pretty popular, albeit fairly new, mm -hmm. um, VR game. Um, Josh and I weren't as sold on the idea, but Brady really felt strongly about it. And I'm really glad we did because, you know, we had this tournament. About 10 people signed up. might have been 12. Um, but what ended up happening was people came from very far distances to do the tournament, which was That's crazy. crazy. Did you say so Arkansas? One guy what? drove in from Arkansas. I mean, wow. he literally had been sleeping in his car just to be here for this tournament. Luckily, he won. Mm -hmm. um, the first prize was $500. But the cool thing nice. was there were, I think, four that are internationally ranked Beat Saber players that showed up at our tournament. So the world of virtual reality seems to be like really blowing up right now. It is. I mean, there's so much going on with it, um, with the new Oculus Go that people might see advertised on Facebook, which is kind of bringing it into more people's homes. Mm -hmm. um, but from a gaming perspective, we have the Vive Pro, which is right now considered kind of the top of the line when it comes to virtual reality. So yeah, it's so exciting. Cool. So there are people that have this, you know, equipment at home just like this. Mm -hmm. um, so these people that came, they ended up being some of the best Beat Saber players actually in the world, which was really wow. amazing. Yeah, we didn't know who they were. And you had them here. And they knew each other just having met online, but they never yeah. met in person. So that I was kind of fun. I wonder if any of them are gamers or Twitchers, because from our perspective, this is totally something that we can see transitioning onto the world of Twitch and live streaming and, you know, sharing a gaming experience with an audience because it's really fun to watch people do it. It's it really is, funny because yeah. I'm sure people in the audience are watching Michael do this next to us and just kind of laughing. It's just a lot of fun to see, especially the experience of what the people are seeing and right, then yeah. how they're reacting to that in real time. Now, I'm afraid of heights, so I think that we're going to get me into a game that's really going to get me a little nervous. So you guys are probably going to enjoy that. So do you want to transition to a demo with me? Sure. So I'm going to introduce, actually, uh, Mike. He's a member of our team. Well, well let's show the B-roll. Um, okay. Which role are we showing? We've got B-roll. Oh, wow. All right, guys. Yes. Here's let's a quick roll video. Here we go. All right, guys, we are back. That was a little bit of behind the scenes on how we made today possible and kind of the fun uh, trip along the way and making this a reality. I'm here with Mike, who is a Westchester University student, finance major, right? 
and you work here at Neverland Virtual Reality. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah Even started. higher. Ready? <laughs> we got a rookie over I here on the mic. I wasn't expecting to be on the uh, camera today. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm a finance major at Westchester, and uh, I started working here once they opened it up. Um, and personally, I just liked it because I get to be around video games all day, and it's kind of Duh. what I've been doing my That's whole pretty life. Awesome. So it's pretty awesome to be able to, you know, it's working when you get to play it, but it's also fun right. to get to, you know, experience the games and try stuff out. And then seeing other people get to try the games, it's really cool and funny. See yeah. people mess up and sometimes hit each other. It's kind of funny. <laughs> so Mike's going to be kind of our tech guru today to talk about any games that you guys are interested in hearing about or anything you know, to the best of your ability about virtual reality. Uh, I'm getting some comments from Melissa over here, so make sure that you just shout anything out. Hi, everybody in the chat. If they uh, want any special requests, I heard something about Paul doing virtual reality. They love that Paul is behind the controls. All right, so if anything goes wrong, you guys know who to blame. The boss. All right, so what do you guys want to do? Paul, do you want to try it? Do you want me to do it? What do you want to do? I'd like to, s to go full screen with Mike and maybe sure. do some requests with some games. How's that sound? Sure, absolutely. All right, so we're going full screen with our video feed coming off of the VR machine. And Mike is playing Fruit Ninja. So that's a pretty cool game. Uh, Brian, I don't know if you can, uh, or sorry, Michael, the other Michael, I don't know if you can make the screen a little bit bigger. See how it, the, the window's yeah, not totally yeah. full? Um, and then, I mean, Tess, everyone wants to see you fly you know, in the sky and, and do that funny thing that you did last time. So we'll have to see that really? too. Cool. So what we're doing here is we're taking a HD video signal. These never land. One of the things I'm going to do here is I'm going to use one of my extra cameras to show you guys cool stuff uh, in Neverland. So we get kind of a double rig here. So see these, these, kit, these virtual reality rigs. Each one of them is a custom built computer. And they're mounted to the wall. And they each have an HDMI output to a headset and an HDMI output to a display. But these NVIDIA graphics cards, I don't know, Michael, do you know what graphics cards you guys are using in here? Uh, we have a little bit of, a little bit of, we have the GTX. Uh, no, it's okay. That's... We have the RTX 2080 on one. I think that's the one mm -hmm. that he's on right now. And we have a few 1070s. Yeah. Um, so we have a little mix of everything. So you guys have four video outputs from these graphics cards. So we take one for the television, one for the uh, virtual reality headset, and then another one is coming directly into our computer here, uh, which I see you, you were able to get full screen on. Thank you for that. And so, yeah, so this is what it looks like. I can't wait to see. I'll get on there, and I'll do some virtual reality. We'll have to swap with the producer for a moment. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, we love seeing how funny Michael looks when he does this. And now with those more, <laughs> yeah. And now with those more accessible ones, I don't know what the gray ones are. You said that people are purchasing the Oculus Go's. That's you know kind of where I could see live streamers sharing their virtual reality experiences at home, online. So that's a lot of fun. So there we are. Here's our little Michael's living his best here. life over here, playing Fruit Ninja. So finally, I get to be the producer. Come on, Michael, um, pick it up. Back here with our wide angle shots, <laughs> and. Uh, you, can, you get a pretty good view here. So we're running vMix. We have three cameras. We were going to do four, but time ran out. Little Behringer mixer, little Huddle Cam joystick, two PTZ Optics cameras, and we're live streaming virtual reality. It's fun. Tess sounds so enthused. I'm <laughs> always Tess, enthused. We got to get you so. on there, Tess. I think, I think it's time. What so we're think? going to do a different experience, and I know Mike was going to help us set that up of a heights game. Specifically because when we came here to do our testing, I had a nightmare of a time, and the guys thought it was hilarious to watch me squirm. So we're going we're gonna to do it again. But this is also a little bit of redemption for me because I feel like I, you know, I'm going to show up today and really step out of that elevator. You guys will see what I mean in a moment and just do it. It's going to be hilarious. I'm telling you, it really feels legitimate, and it's terrifying. It feels so real. One thing is we're, we're not getting any uh, audio from the HDMI feed. I'm not sure why. I don't know if the audio is off on that or maybe it's just going to Michael's Do you want to explain how we're doing the picture-in-picture? 
with their computer? I did and actually. You did? Yeah. Whoopsies. It's okay. Um, so yeah, let's let's switch it up. Let's let's uh, see what else we can get. Yeah, I didn't get any audio from the computer, but that's okay. Um, You're not getting any like the in-game thing. Yeah. No. It was okay. at one at one point that was working, but you know we're live now anyway. So let let's just switch it up to test. Unless you think in the sound settings maybe. Did that help at all? Try try changing the output. Mike, Instead was that cool? Yeah. We got backup. So and you don't even have any marks on that? your face. Yeah, click the up button and then select that. Uh, go down. Your makeup is still intact. Yeah, try that USB capture. Uh, Melissa, do you have Facebook and YouTube sorry, chat up? Sorry. Are you gonna fly? Oh, I am Are you so flying today? I'm, I'm gonna do Santa thing that okay, you did. Okay, great. I'm so right. I was playing the Fruit Ninja <laughs> game. Paul, did you show the Fruit Ninja? Yeah, I showed the Fruit Ninja. I was doing pretty well. We, we didn't get to you hear were, the, the, nice the, uh, the fruits getting smashed, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Got to test Vive before it was released. Had a fancy NDA that expired. And they put him in a haunted house, and it was extremely effective. If you are in the live chat, let us know if you've ever tried virtual reality yeah. and what your experience was with that, where you tried it. Here's the other mic, Paul. All right, cool. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that would actually work if we did that. Uh, with Santa. It might as well just come from the TV. All right, Seth is up. Oh, Seth, turn your mic off before you. You sure? All right, so this is where Tess is right now in her virtual reality world. You know what, Lynn, we might need to uh, grab the keyboard and just select the source. Because the audio would really be, would really what do you be need? good. Oh, this mic. Yeah. Okay, it's all right. You did? All right. Well, I think it's, it's okay. It was, just, it, was, it was distracting in the beginning because Mike was breathing. But if Tess is going to be the main subject, then it's fine. I'm already in the elevator. Okay. Yeah, pick it. Well, we're just going to go right out of the television. Right. So, whatever the normal setting is. I think I turned it back on. Are you getting levels for me, Paul? Yep. All right. Am I in the game, Mike? Do you want to close your, your, ear, your earbuds? Um, yes, close please. Your earbuds on. Okay. There you go. All right, I see. There's my back wall. Yes, sir. All right, guys, I'm not going to be scared this time. Going up. Did you ever get the audio out of the television? No. I think you have to change the output. Back to what it was. Okay, I am separating reality and what's not real. Okay? Okay. 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 This might have been a big mistake. Well, I pass you to do it. Okay, this is not real. I really don't. It's not real. Michael, will you come here? Just hold my arm. No, I don't think I could do it. I'm serious. She can't do it. It's going to be okay. <laughs> I'm not even being fake right now. I don't think I can. Just take one step forward. It's okay. Oh, 
a further test. Here it comes. I. It's okay. You're not going to fall down anywhere. I know. It's really hard to separate it. It's just the visual. I don't want to see myself fall off this. Where is the, where is the sleigh? Where is the sleigh? <laughs> Look down. Oh, oh, oh shh. You got to drop down. You got to jump into the sleigh. Oh, see that little, look to the right. What do I do with this? Oh, you got to slide down the pole. You got to slide down that pole. You got to see, all right. Yep. Am I sliding down the pole? Yep. Just keep, look down. You got to go further off the plank. Oh, oh you're in. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Hello, Rudolph. Off you go. I will. <gasps> I want to get the audio bumped. Holy the crap. If you give me the keyboard, I can get it. I think it's that. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. All right. Look at that. You got this. You got okay. this. All right. Off we go. All right. Can pick anyone? <laughs> Nothing? There we go. Right there. Oh. Here you go, little Sally. Merry Christmas. All right, there you go. Off to Tommy's house. I'm going to do it. Don't worry, guys. I'm probably going to fall over, though. I don't like it that much. It's not that I don't like it. It's, a, it's <sighs> I'm worried to like literally get this off of me. Do we have any questions from the chat? Every, right now, everyone just said, <laughs> "Holy crap! Don't look down." <laughs> everyone, don't look down. everyone's entertained. Oh. <laughs> He'll get I on. Will, I will. Don't worry. I agree. I'm gonna get over there. I don't know if I have the stomach for it. Oh, maybe next year. It, it is. <laughs>